Thank you. Tommy, yours is a riveting story. Uh, in the music business, you ended up with Roulette Records. Yes. And turned out that it was kind of run by a guy connected to the mob. Yes. Well, you know, actually what happened is uh, my first record, Hanky Panky, uh, sort of exploded out of Pittsburgh unexpectedly in 1966. And uh, I went to Pittsburgh, couldn't put the original group back together, and uh, uh, found a, a local band who became the Shondells, um, went to uh, New York. <laughs> you got a lot of fans here. <laughs> Went to New York a week later and uh, got a yes from all of the record companies. Really amazing. Columbia, RCA, Atlantic. And um, the last place we took the record to was Roulette, which is a pretty good little yeah. label. Was it? Yeah. And um, so uh, I, we just got a yes from everybody, and we thought we had it made. And the next morning, I started getting calls from all the record companies that said yes, and they all said, listen, Tom, we got to pass. <laughs> and I'm like, why? <laughs> Finally, Jerry Wexler at Atlantic uh, yeah. leveled with us and told us that Morris Levy, the head of Roulette Records, um, called all the other companies and said, this is my record. <laughs> if you get my drift. Yeah. <laughs> and, Who wanted uh, a horse hat in their bed? In the we, it was fir <laughs> first offer I couldn't refuse. Yeah. <laughs> um, Roulette Records made Hanky Panky number one in the free world and started us down a road of uh, 23 gold singles. It's a fascinating story in that you didn't get all the money that was due you. Oh, that's an understatement. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we're talking no. millions and millions of dollars that you were basically cheated out of. Well, basically, uh, the book, Me, the Mob, and the Music, is essentially an autobiography with about two-thirds of it devoted to... Uh, this very scary and tumultuous and crazy relationship with uh, Morris Levy and Roulette Records. And the reason it was scary was because, uh, unbeknownst to us when we signed with Roulette, uh, Roulette was a front for the Genovese crime family in New York. <laughs> uh, the crazy part was that if we had gone with one of the corporate labels, one of the big labels, we probably would have been lucky to have been a one-hit wonder because mm. We had, uh, they just rolled out the red carpet for us. Creatively, we could do no wrong at roulette. And uh, so I, I, one day I have to ask the good Lord what exactly he had in mind. Well, you know, it, it's, I found the book to be one of those mesmerizing books you couldn't put down. And I understand it's gonna be made into a film. Yes, it's gonna be a movie. And we, <laughs> we are very lucky to have Barbara Defina, who is producing uh, our movie, who, by the way, did uh, uh, Goodfellas and uh, <laughs> Casino and... Uh, Had a few hits Hugo there. Hugo a yeah. couple of years ago with Mark Scorsese. <laughs> and she's just incredible. And uh, Kathleen Marshall is directing. Wow. And Matthew Stone uh, did the screenplay. You know, it's, it's amazing to me, too, you're still making music and having a lot of fun at it. Just released a new album called Alive, yes. uh, which obviously you're very alive and making music still. W tell me about this project and uh, what kind of music have you sure. compiled on Alive? Well, basically Alive is uh, the culmination of about two years work. And uh, honestly, uh, it was a labor of love and uh, had a lot of neat people on here. We did a version, we did a remake of Dragon the Line. Uh, it's kind of, it's got a rap in it, and it also has Stevie Van Zandt playing guitar, which nice. is, I guess you know Stevie Van Zandt. <laughs> oh, of Zandt. course. And, if they uh, don't, shame on them. And uh, also Gene Cornish from The Rascals is, uh, is on here. And just a lot of my friends, but it's a, it's a lot of different kinds of music that I've wanted to do for, oh, a decade or better. It's our first studio album in 10 years. Well, Tommy, I, I, you're, you're going to perform for us in a little while. Uh, by the way, one of my favorite radio listening moments is uh, Tommy James every Sunday on 60s on 6 Sirius XM Radio. Uh, that's one of those channels I listen to because it's the music that I grew up with. Now, for Tommy's music tour schedule, 
You can also get autographed copies of Me, the Mob, and Music. And this, I'm, I'm serious, it's a phenomenal book. And if you live through the 60s and 70s and remember it, um, <laughs> which is in and of itself a great feat, you'll want this book because you're going to relive so much of that era and a, a phenomenal story. Also, we've talked about the uh, CD, Alive. All of that, TommyJames.com. His story is being turned into the movie. I want you to keep your eye out for the release date. We're going to have Tommy back when the movie comes out uh, because we want to talk about that when it's uh, around. It's going to be phenomenal.